Tonight, as most of you know, uh, we talked a little bit about uh, putting our trust in God. And essentially, it's the same thing as our faith. When we think about our little example that we use tonight, in our connect the dot uh, example, our picture, you know, our lives are really just like a connect the dots. We may not understand the big picture of, of our life and, and what it's going to look like. We may think it's a, a tree or we might think it's, you know, a, a fish or something like that. But until we connect the dots, we will not have a full understanding of the picture that God is trying to paint. So when we think about that and we think about how we need to have trust that God gave us the right picture to begin with and that all we need to do is connect the dots. What that should tell us is or you know, how that should make us feel is uh, having a faith in uh, what God has given us to do while we're here on this earth. We need to trust in Him. When we sometimes, you know, in uh, the lives of people, we, we might disregard the order of the numbers. We might disregard, you know, uh, how God wants us to do this. So what happens if we uh, begin going, you know, in the wrong order? Well, the picture's not going to be painted the way that God designed it, and then we've created a mess. And it's really hard to undo a connect-the-dot mess. So what God wants us to do is to, well, in a sense, when we're like Thomas, he wants us to get back to trusting him again. Now, it took a lot for Jesus, or for Thomas, to believe that Jesus, in fact, you know, appeared to the disciples. He didn't believe him at first. And then you can say, well, he, ultimately he didn't trust God that Jesus was going to come back in the first place. He doubted. You know, doubt is, is a, uh, uh, it can be a, a dream killer. So when we think about the, the doubt that Thomas felt, well, we can relate to him sometimes. So what did Jesus do? He came back eight days later. He proved to him by the, the, uh, the scars in his hand and, and the, the hole in his side. And, you know, Thomas didn't even have to put his fist in. He didn't have to even put his fingers in there. He, he knew that it was Christ. He knew it was Christ. And Jesus said, you know, it's great that you believe, but you only believe because you saw him. Blessed are they that believe and have not seen. And that's us. That's us. So when we think about trusting God, and we think, you know, we think to ourselves, you know, can we trust him? First question we should ask is, has God ever broken a promise? The second question we should ask is, if we trust God. Do we believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Well, that kind of goes back to our faith. We have to have faith in that Jesus is who he says he was. Now, in Hebrews 11, verse 1, kind of gives us a little definition of faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And then later on, God also says that it's impossible to please God without faith. But he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So faith is essential when it comes to our salvation. And just like uh, you know, uh, faith was essential for these disciples to go out and do what Christ wanted them to do when it comes to the Great Commission, to go and teach. And that's what Christ was doing there. He was reminding them to go and teach. So it's important for us when we think about God. First of all, we have to develop a trust. We need to believe that God is who He says He is, that Christ is, that He sent Christ to uh, accomplish the mission that He gave Him to complete the picture. Christ had a dot, uh, connect the dot picture. And he fulfilled it. He connected all the dots the way God wanted him to do it. And he, uh, he ended up sacrificing himself for our sins. So my question to you tonight is, do you trust God? Do you trust God enough with your life to just connect the dots one dot at a time? To let him lead? To let him take away the sin that's in your life? Just like, you know, all the, the, the disciples in the first century. The sin was taken away because they believed. They had faith. So if you're here tonight... And you're ready to put that doubt behind you, ready to cast aside all that doubt and, and fear and put your faith in God and in Christ. You can do that here tonight. If you're here tonight and you want to make your life right with God, this is an opportunity for you to do that. And, and you can do that while together we stand and while we sing.